I have been discussing to visit a lot of uh, delegate de uh, leader. Like yesterday, we have been met with the President of Philippines. Mm -hmm. that we have discussed about some kind of cooperation between Philippines and Cambodia in terms of agriculture, in terms of food processing, in terms of BPO. And we have some other industry that we can see that there's a lot of gap that we can cooperate each other. That's one part. And also, I have been attending of the ASEAN Business Council that we, we are discussing among all the ASEAN team members regarding about the business here in Cambodia and in the ASEAN by itself. <clears throat> At the same time, I can say that for ASEAN this year, we can see that a lot, because it's the first time of the ASEAN member, right. they have been face-to-face -face meeting. Right. So we have a lot of good feeling to discuss each other. Then we think about how we are moving forward from the ASEAN summit that have been finished. We will keep on following up to go through together from one country to another, how to cooperate and follow up, bring in some more investment together for ASEAN member. Right. Yeah. Uh, the uh, World Fish Group has a footprint across not just Cambodia, but a number of other countries in what some people call Indochina. You have investments in Vietnam, um, uh, Laos, and some in Thailand as well. But overall, what's the overall business climate from the point of view of World of WorldBridge? As a Cambodian conglomerate looking outside, what is your what is your assessment of what the war, of the of the current business climate at the moment? Is it something that's tense? Is it something that's exciting for you? A bit of a mix of both. Tell us what you think. Sir. You see that uh, ASEAN is one of the young population country. We can say that 30 percent of the population are young for ASEAN country, and we have 65 percent of the middle class in ASEAN country. So then in Cambodia, we are one of the less population among the other ASEAN countries. So as a businessman, we need to improve and we need to increase and our business that expand to other Indochina or ASEAN member in order for us to first understanding and then catch the bigger market. So that's why that as World Bridge Group, we have been expanded to this country because we can see the market. And we learn from those countries and we also think that can World Bridge be building up a hub in Cambodia in order to support the export. Because Cambodia is one of the export market that we can produce. Because we have below 35 years old, we have 73% of the youngest population. So Cambodia has become a manufacturing hub for Southeast Asia. You can, we can see that after China manufacturing, they're moving out from China. They, of course, they go to Vietnam. And Cambodia is one of the raising stars that a lot of manufacturers are moving to do a manufacturing in Cambodia. Because the government has been giving a lot of tech incentive that to create an investment climate to welcome all the investors from Southeast Asia and from the world. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.